Hey, you want the Ender Dragon? Eh, don't worry, you'll be just as easy to defeat. Ah, uh, take that back! Guys, drop everything! The most insane RPG of 2019 is here. Today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, is a full PC game on your phone completely for free. It's got a gripping storyline, crispy 3D graphics, a giant dragon, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Just look at the insane level of detail on these bad boys. Raid Special Launch Tournament is happening right now, and it's going to be huge! Head straight down to the description and hit my link to download the game and get 50,000 silver right off the bat. And here's the best part. You'll be entered into the tournament where you can compete with me. By the way, I'm going to win. And others in the game for physical and in-game prize back. And of course, the glory of battle! Good luck in your fight and enjoy today's video. <laughs> What's up guys, EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock secret emerald tools in Minecraft. Now for too long, there have been tools of diamond, of gold, of iron, of stone, and even wood. But never have we seen a set of emerald tools. And never before has there been an emerald pickaxe, an emerald sword, an emerald shovel, an emerald hoe. I don't know why you would ever want one of those. They've pretty much been useless items, only mattering to villagers like the one staring at me creepily. <sighs> guys, they're freaking me out! Okay, guys, I think I'm safe. He's not staring at me anymore. Let's just move on with the view. Stay away from me, villager, don't you dare look at- <sighs> ah! Okay, guys, I think he's gone for real now. Wait, is there another one? Okay, don't you dare look at me, guys. They all want to look at me! I need to get out of here! All right, after 15 minutes of crying, I think I've gotten over my fear of villagers staring at me like they want to kill me, guys. So if another one does it, I should be... Okay, calm. Find my happy place. Um, all right, my happy place is Emerald Items, which is what we're checking out in today's video, guys. So if you are excited, I'm going to show you how to do it. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video. Leave a like down below with 5,000 likes if you are a fan of Emeralds. Well, even if you're not, you're about to be, guys. And of course, if you are to the channel, as always, make sure to slap the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon, the link, ding, ding, to never miss an upload so you can get the coolest secrets, tips, and tricks, guys, before any of your friends do. Like, I bet you none of your friends know how to get emerald items, but you will because you watch my videos. So make sure to hit that bell icon. But without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly how you do this. Now, first off, you need to find yourself a nice village like this, and hopefully the villagers in that village aren't as creepy as the ones here. Ugh, sensitive as down my spines, guys. <laughs> but anyway, we're looking for a specific villager, uh, now, guys, every villager has their own profession. As you guys can see, this guy's a butcher right here. We are looking for a weapons smith. That is super, super important. And, well, to trade with that weapons smith, we're also going to need some materials. So, I guess the first thing we're going to do is loot these villagers and see whether we can find anything that might help us trade with the weapons smith. And in the meantime, we've also got to keep an eye out for the weapons smith himself. Now, generally, He'll be around a grindstone, I believe, in these new updates. I wonder if they trade bread and potatoes. I don't know. We're just going to take everything, guys, and hope that this weaponsmith will trade us something. Because trading with the weaponsmith is going to be key to getting our hands on some of the brand new emerald items. Ooh, 10 emeralds. Nice. We got some spruce logs, some pumpkin pie, some potato totos, and some more bread. All right, coolio. What other loot can we can get, guys? And we also got to keep an eye out for a grindstone. That's where the weaponsmith should be living and where we can get our hands on some of those beautiful emerald items. Now, nothing in here, guys. Let's have a check in this. Ooh, another chest. Oh, now we got 30 emeralds, baby. We are in business. Cha-ching, cha-ching, ba-ba-ba-ling-ling. -ling. We are rich, at least rich in emeralds. And normally, nobody would want emeralds. However, in today's video, guys, we actually want the emeralds. They're going to be quite useful. Uh, all right, let's have a look inside this house here, guys. Anything in here? We got a smoker. I would take that normally, but that is not the goal of today's video, guys. Uh, let's have a check inside this house. Hmm, ah, no loot in here. All right, is there any other things down here? Ooh, we got the nice little bell here. I'm pretty sure villagers don't trade for bells. Oh my gosh, guys. Potion of swiftness, more bread. We got 54 emeralds. That's almost a full stack. I would just like to say, this village has some serious cha-ching. They've been storing up. Oh, and we've even got a wandering villager. What kind of deals do you have, man? Ooh, that's nice. You can get some slime balls. That slime balls are not what we're here for today, guys. We are here to find the weaponsmith and get our hands on the emerald thing. All right. Hello, Mr. Library. Now, I know that villagers sometimes trade for books, but I'm not sure a weaponsmith would. But in case we do need books, guys, they are here in this library so we can come back and uh, steal them. I mean, borrow them, guys. We're not stealing from villagers. 
Just kidding, guys. We're gonna steal from them if we need to. All right. <gasps> guys, I think over there. Do you see it? I think it's a grindstone. It's a grindstone, and there's a villager right next to it. Guys, if we're lucky, this villager will be a weaponsmith, guys. Here's the moment of truth. Ready? We got it, guys. We got a weaponsmith. All right. We are in business, baby. Except we need coal and iron. Guys, no. We only have emeralds to trade with him. In order to unlock the emerald tool crafting recipe, guys, we need to completely do all the trades here and level him up to his full max level. But we don't have coal. We don't have iron. That's a problem, guys. We need both coal and iron if we're going to be in business with the weaponsmith. Now, at least we know where this grindstone is. However, we need to find some coal and some iron. A sapity sap sap. Now, there is one more house here. And I get the feeling, oh, there's not even a chest in this house, guys. What? Our luck sucks. However, I was worried that he might have some, He might drive a hard bargain. And this villager, he wants his iron and coal. Luckily for us... I chose a seed that has a jungle temple right over here. Now, guys, you can see that my Minecraft world is a little glitched out lately. Uh, there's been some weird texture glitches where trees look like solid, weird-ass structures. I've been having this problem a lot lately, guys. I don't know. If you guys have been having this problem, let me know in the comments down below and please suggest a solution because right now the only thing I can do is, like, punch it and it fixes it up. But I don't know. It's really strange and weird. I don't know whether this seed's cursed. Hopefully not because of all seeds to be cursed, I was I, hopefully not the one that we're just doing a video about uh, tools in, guys. But the good part is, is there is a jungle temple right next to the village. And fingers crossed, guys, a knowing jungle temple loot generally includes coal and iron. This could be perfect, guys. Now I can barely see anything. Do we click the levers and try and do the coat? Nope, we're just going to run through. Run through the traps. Ah! All right, cool. We did get... Ow! I was like, we did get hit by any arrows. And then we literally just got shot. But... We are in business for the second time in today's video, guys. Check it out. Four iron, 11 coal. I think that should be enough. We've also got... Whoa. Loyalty three, a piercing out four. Oh, my. That is some serious stuff. We'll also grab all that stuff in case we need it to trade with villagers later. And let's get out of this death trap. Ow! Can you stop shooting me with arrows? All I want to do is grab my hands on some beautiful emeralde tools, guys. But let's jump back over here and visit the weaponsmith. Woo, woo, woo! All right, we are on our journey to grab ourselves some shiny, shiny emerald tools. And he's currently using uh, the grinding stone here. But we're going to distract him. Hey, Mr. Weaponsmith, Weaponsmith, pay attention to me. Pay. Stop. No. I am more interesting than a stone. Hopefully, guys. If you think I'm more interesting than a stone, why don't you leave a like? But anyway, we're going to trade with this guy. 15 co We're four off. All right, guys. We need some more coal. I'm just going to check out. There's a cave system here, so maybe there's some more coal in here. I'm going to uh, see whether we can find some coal, guys, and I'll be right back once I have 15 coal. All right, guys. So I couldn't see anything, so I went and stole a torch from the village. I made a crafting table, made a wooden pickaxe because we got a ton of coal in here, and this should just be enough to get us over the line. So we need four. I think it was we did 15. We have 11, so we just need four more pieces of this beautiful coal, and we should be good. All right, we got our 15 coal. Let's head up back up to the weaponsmith. All right, Weaponsmith, your favorite me is back and you're still paying attention to the stone. Come on, man. I gotta be more. Guys, I got, look at me. I've got all these colors. I'm blue. I'm white. I've got green. I've got green shoes. Look at my, look at my shoes, guys. They got green in them. And he's more interested in a rock. All right, Weaponsmith, I need to trade. All right. So first off, let's trade for an emerald here. All right, guys, we got him to that level. Then we need to trade three emeralds for an iron pick. All right, trade that. Okay, cool, Leo. We need to unlock his level two, guys. And we need... We need more coal. Back to the coal mines! You know, I hope this guy is happy because I have literally never mined this much coal in my life. Yes, finally, we are locked level two. All right, here we go. Let's trade for the sword. All right, cool, Leo. All we need to do is get him up to level three. And I need more iron. Oh, <laughs> do I have to go back to the mine? First he wanted coal, now he wants iron. We'll give him iron and the trades are up for today. Well, looks like we're waiting. I don't know, how long does it take? Like half an hour before these guys accept more trade? We can trade some more coal with him. Ugh, why are you so hard to trade with? Ugh, guys, it's literally been like three Minecraft days before this guy opened up his trades again. I am losing my mind, but hopefully if we get him to level three, we will unlock these emerald tools. We're so close, guys. We're so close. We're so close. We unlocked level. Oh, there's a level four. 
Anyway, guys, while I was waiting for the uh, seriously ripping me off weaponsmith to open up his trades again, I searched on the internet what level do the villagers need to be for you to unlock emerald tools. And it turns out they only need to be at level two. So I've been wasting my time cheating, mining to get them to level four, and they only needed to be at level two. But anyway, guys, I've, we've wasted enough time with the weaponsmith. Now that, you know, it turns out we were able to craft them pretty much all along, we're gonna craft these bad boys. All right, so let's open up the crafting table right here, guys. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can craft these emerald tools. Now, they follow these similar recipes as other tools, so we'll go ahead and make some sticks. And what you guys can do is check this out. We're about to craft an emerald sword. So you put two emeralds there, just like you would with a diamond, a wood, or gold, or any other sword, guys. We put a stick under here, and... Oh, check this out, guys. All our work has been worth it. We have ourselves an emerald sword. Now, I'm going to get rid of all this other rubbish stuff. I'm pretty sure there was a chest over here. Let's clear our inventory of all this other stuff because we don't... We really... Oh, we do need the emeralds. Those are something we do need. But let's get rid of all this other stuff that we don't really need. All this stuff that we traded with the woman. Ah, with the weaponsmith who ripped us off and was wasting all our time. That's beside the point, guys. But anyway, we've got the emerald sword. Let's go ahead and craft the rest of the emerald tools. So we're just going to grab a few more sticks there. Now, of course, guys, we have an emerald shovel. Ooh, look at this. Five attack damage or one plus mine speed for the pickaxe, guys. Let's go ahead and make that. We've got our emerald pickaxe. And then, guys... Uh, the more useless ones, we have an emerald hoe. I'm not sure why you would ever want this, but you get four plus attack damage, one plus mine speed. And finally, guys, the emerald axe. ba bing a ba -da boom a Check it out, guys. Look at all these beautiful emerald tools. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that emerald sword. Look at that. That looks so sick, guys. Not only do these things look sick, but they have lots of uses as well. Be the main one being is that these things never break. That is right, guys. So if we go ahead and hold our emerald axe here, you'll see that I immediately get haste. And that is the same with the emerald pickaxe, the emerald axe. Now, if we go ahead and actually use the emerald axe, guys, and start digging up this wood, you can see that it... Look at the speed of the axe. It's like... Bum, 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 bum. It's like I'm karate chopping a speed of light. It's like... Bum, 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 bum. It is really, really fast. However, it's actually not as fast as a diamond axe. It is slightly less, guys. For comparison, let's go ahead and switch into creative. I'll grab myself a diamond axe. Ooh, 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 very shiny. If we go ahead and switch back into survival and use the diamond axe, you can see that the diamond axe actually breaks the wood faster than the emerald axe. Only by a small bit. But the real difference here, guys, is you can see that my diamond axe has already started taking damage. However, the emerald axe will never take damage. It is invincible and this thing will last you forever, which means you'll never have to make another axe again. There is one other thing to these emerald tools that really make them unique and special. And that's the type of enchantments you can grab on the emerald sword. Now, if we go ahead and uh, switch ourselves into creative, because I am never doing that whole mining thing again. That took me like a solid forever, guys. Anyway, so what you want to do is if you go ahead and grab yourself a book, we'll grab some apples, and we also grab the potion of swiftness, which lucky for us, we found in one of the villagers' chests. But if we grab all these things, guys, there's actually a really cool thing you can do with the emerald sword, which you cannot do with any other sword in the game. Well, at the moment anyway. So if we go ahead and come up here, guys, we come to our crafting table, and we go ahead and put a book, and you put an apple next to it. That's going to give you an enchanted book health boost plus 10. On top of that, guys, if you go ahead and grab yourself a book and put a potion of swiftness next to it, you're going to get a speed book. Now, these are important because if you go ahead and combine them with your sword, you will go ahead and get an emerald sword that gives you a 10 plus health boost. Now, check this out. When I hold the sword, look at this. My hearts increase. Like, look at this. Ready? No hearts. Hold it, and then I get an extra five hearts. That is insane. No other weapon in the game will actually give you extra hearts. I think that is just crazy that you just hold this thing, and it's going to give you those extra hearts. That is insane, guys, and it's going to be super useful in battle. Now, of course, guys, there is also the speed enchanted book. However, you can't combine it with an already enchanted emerald sword. You can only have one emerald sword for health boost and the other for speed, unfortunately. But still, it is pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves just an extra emerald sword like that. And then we'll combine it with our speed enchanted book. Kabing, cut a bang. And as you guys can see, when I hold it, check this out. I immediately get the speed effect and you can run super, super fast. And honestly, I think that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I really do wish you could actually combine 
both the health boost and the speed boost into a single sword. But unfortunately, that is not possible, guys. You can either only choose the five extra hearts or you can choose to have the speed or you can just carry around two emerald swords and switch between them like I'm doing right now, guys. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature that you can do with these emerald tools that aren't available with any other tools. And finally, guys, to top it all off, when you get your, uh, your weaponsmith to level three, guys, so there was actually a reason for us getting into level three, thank goodness, otherwise I would have been really frustrated, is you will also unlock emerald foods. Now, that sounds really weird, but check this out, guys. If I go ahead and put an apple here and then surround it with emeralds just like you would a golden apple, check this out, you get an emerald apple. Now, when you eat the emerald apple, guys, you go ahead and you get two hearts, just like a golden apple. You get health regen and you get resistance, but you also get absorption for five minutes, making it more powerful than your golden apple. Now, you may be thinking, all right, Coolio, there's an emerald apple, but then is there an enchanted emerald apple? Well, let me answer your question. Uh, the answer is yes, by the way. Guys, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some emerald blocks, just like you would with an enchanted uh, an enchanted golden apple, guys, where you surround it with gold all around, gold blocks all around, guys. You surround an apple with gold blocks, and you'll get yourself one of these beautiful enchanted golden apples. Now, if we go ahead and clear our effects completely, and then eat this bad boy, check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra hearts. You also go ahead and get. Uh, resistance, fire resistance, and absorption all for ridiculous amount of time. The regen goes for a minute, resistance goes for seven, fire resistance goes for seven minutes, absorption goes for 10 minutes, and you also get Hero of the Village 2 for a very short time. You get it for 30 seconds. And basically, Hero of the Village means that then when you go to uh, villages, you can see, look at this, they slash all their prices. You can see here, instead of 24, 19 papers, six, and it's been slashed down to three emeralds, guys. All the prices get cheaper with the villagers, which is insane. Now, unfortunately, you only get that for 30 seconds. So the minute you go ahead and eat this bad boy, I'd rush to all the villagers and try and get the best deals before it runs out. But you still get all this other stuff, which is just insane. It is so much more OP than the enchanted gold apple, guys. It is insane. And you combine this with the extra heart sword, guys, the extra health boot sword, and look at how many hearts I have right now, guys. That is insane. That I am at... Whoop, I dropped it. <laughs> one, one moment, please. Look at all the hearts, guys. This is insane. There is no way that anything can take me on. You would want to go ahead, eat one of these, and combine it with this health boost sword before going into a battle, guys, because there is no way anything can take you out. You are so uh, beefy, guys. That is crazy that you have this many hearts. But anyway, guys, those are all the awesome emerald tools that you can go ahead and unlock in your Minecraft world for today's video, including, of course, the extra enchants and the edible emerald foods, the emerald, uh, edible emerald apples. I don't know. I, when you think about it, they really shouldn't be edible. But that's beside the point, guys. If you want to get these in your own Minecraft world and these awesome secret tools, guys, because who would not want to have emerald tools in Minecraft? You can go ahead and hit the download link in the description, which will allow you to do everything I did in today's video. Trade with the weaponsmith, unlock the emerald tool, crafting recipe, and craft the emerald tools as well. Do all the enchanting. Download link in the description. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, guys, Hey, watch your back. Bye.